But in this video, we're going to go over how to use the foliage paint tool. What do they call it in here? Terrain foliage paint mode is what they call it. Now, as you can see, I've got some foliage showing here. And um, the game or GE likes to kind of cut it off in the little circle area. So the more you zoom out, you can see that circle there. It's not super obvious, but yeah, there's a big circle there. So if you're within that circle, so the, I guess it's different render zones. So the detailed stuff here, less detailed, and even less detailed. Okay. Now that's what that different coloration is. So if we're up close, you can see that it looks pretty decent. Now it doesn't look as good as in game, obviously, but um, it really depends on your settings on how well it looks in here. I've actually got mine currently set. Let's see here. Remember how to do it. Profile, very high. Um, my computer, it's a decent computer, and it does not like the Riverbend map, the base game map. So I actually have to put my settings on low. Uh, in 4X maps, I run on low as well. Uh, so that way, it'll <laughs> be usable. Um, so if you have an issue where Giants Editor won't start with one of the maps, uh, start Giants Editor with nothing. Just open the program, no file selected, and set your settings low there. Save a file, and then you can delete that file later. And then once you reopen Giants Editor, it'll be at those new settings, and that way you can better use it, okay? I'm sure I'll make some other videos on that a little later on. Okay, here we are, foliage. So... This tool is kind of handy, so let's get into it. As with the other uh, tools here, it, as soon as you click it, it will automatically go to that um, location or that tab, I guess I should say. And that will allow you to uh, easily set your settings. And we have our brush size. We got the tiny one all the way up to the bigger one, and you can even go bigger than 100 if you wanted to. I don't know why that's going the opposite way. Oh, here we go. So you can go larger or smaller. You can set your presets. The opacity and hardness here doesn't make any difference. Um, the add and subtract does work, So, uh, but it's got to be the same layer type. So bush bushes, if you've got those selected, um, so deco bush right here, I can't remove the grass. Okay. But if I go to any of the other ones like deco foliage, I can remove the grass. And the reason that is, is the deco bush, or at least on this map, the deco bush is, uh, on a different layer. So you, you have to tell this to use that layer, but everything else is on the other layer. Hope that helped. Okay. So we have, um, Let's see here. So those, okay, so you can select the different foliage layers here. Uh, as far as your fields, um, with tw FS25, you don't need to paint the fields in, so don't worry about the painting in the grass or any anything else. Uh, you XML that in, and I'll show that in a future video. Um, but you don't have to paint in your fields anymore. Those are all auto-generated in-game, okay? So pretty much you only want to use your deco bush, your deco foliage, deco bush US or uh, Asian or whichever one you have here, meadow, forest plants, and water plants. Those are the ones you want to use. Don't use the grass because this is for the, the grass that you cut and such, okay? Uh, if you want to use grass that's uh, decorative, you would go into your deco foliage, I believe, and then you'll have grass in here. Grass small, grass medium, grass cut. Okay, now uh, I believe you can cut meadow. So if you want cuttable grass, meadow grass can be cut, I think, in, in most cases, maybe. But if you do want your grass to be cuttable and it, want it to grow, then, then you'll want to select the uh, grass here. And then you've got your different states here, okay? But I believe meadow can be cut. So it's really up to you. But just so you know, the the grass and the... I believe meadow grows as well. Uh, 
those can grow. So if you put in a lower state, eventually it's not going to be that state anymore. Because I always use Harvest Ready because it's the fullest. Um, but a lot of folks might, you might want the green smaller, or whatever. But if you really want like the detailed graphs, then use the uh, the deco foliage version, okay? Which I usually do on the edge of my roads. All right, so we can limit to texture. So if you have a road painted in that's asphalt, you can uh, limit to that, or I'm sorry, you can limit it to the grass so that way it doesn't paint on the asphalt. Hello, where's grass? Okay, so now it would only paint the metal on the grass. Now, make sure you have a layer state selected because if you don't, it erases it. So if I click now, gone, right? So now if I do harvest ready, I can paint it back. Okay, uh, you can do, let's see, let's go ahead and remove it. If you hold your left shift and then drag, okay, it'll go up and down the map, which I guess this is north and south, and this is east and west, or however you want to think about it. And you can snap it that way. You can also do the click, hold shift, and then do it any direction you want. So that way you can draw your straight, straight lines if you'd like. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you can also limit to uh, existing foliage. And that kind of helps you to be able to, I guess, like add your bushes maybe. And stick it to that foliage. Um, I don't really use that one that much, I don't think. Sometimes I use stuff and don't realize it. You get in that groove when you're making a map, and it's just, yeah. But yeah, so you can just kind of come through here and pick your different uh, bush types. So see how big those are? That's the bush there. I think that's a single bush. So that's like a group of bushes, right? And you can erase them by uh, right-clicking and going over them. That takes them out, so you don't have to change anything there. Okay. Um... We do have noise, 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 I can't, words, um, and this will allow you to kind of paint the bushes in a random manner in a way, okay? So let's uh, play with that setting a little bit. Random seed, uh, persistence, let's bump that up, see what that looks like. So that seems like it's more often, so let's bump that way down. Uh, no, I'm not seeing the... Oh, that's a lot. So the frequency seems to change how often. Let's bump them both up. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of variety. Give another random seed. So that way it's not just a square whatever, right? Oh, that's cool. So if you do, if you leave it enabled and you kind of do the erase bit, or the, let's see, right click and hover over it, it'll... It'll remove some of them, but not all of them. That's kind of neat. Should be able to just remove the rest doing that. Okay. So, yeah, that's kind of different ways to do the foliage. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it as far as foliage. Yeah. So, uh, let's paint a road real quick and kind of show that real quick. Yeah. And let's say I've got an asphalt road, and it it kind of goes up, comes over. Gives a little zigzag. Sure, right? Now, I've got foliage on that currently, and I don't want it there. So what I'll do... Oh, and you can do the control R here. And as long as it's not... Dec Let me see here. So if I have a deco bush, control R doesn't do anything. So if I move to the same layer, control R, har metal harvest ready. So that way you can... Uh, control R and kind of copy the settings for the current location of your brush. Okay. Which this is all meadow harvest ready. So let's change it back to water plants. Control R, it automatically sets it to meadow harvest ready because that's what's painted here. Just wanted to show you that real quick. All right. So limit two, uh, not grass. What was that? Asphalt. So we've got it set to nothing. Okay, when it's set to this, it removes it. So if I click here, see it removed it. So now I can perfectly remove the foliage where I painted the road. And that'll save me a little bit of time from having to go back and try to kind of paint and then 
remove the foliage exactly where I did it and yada yada yada. Plus you can do like a, you can do, uh, here we go. Let's say I, let's do this a little bigger. Probably a little too wide. And then we'll go back over it with uh, asphalt. Uh, we'll go back over it with gravel, but we'll make this one smaller. Kind of follow the whole road here. Okay, so we've removed the foliage there. Now I want to replace the outer part with foliage that is, um, I guess, a shorter grass. So we'll change it to deco, deco foliage, and then grass small, and we'll limit it to grass. No, it was asphalt, wasn't it? We'll limit it to asphalt. And then if we come back in here and paint that, now that is a little wide for what I would normally do, but I've just kind of shown that you can do transitions like this. So that's an easy way to kind of do a, a bit of a transition uh, from the, uh, the short grass to the tall grass to give it a little more of a, a transition type of look, if you'd like. Just another little trick to be able to make your roads look a little bit better. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more like it, uh, feel free to um, let us know. More to come, and uh, appreciate you watching.